Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to today's discussion. Today we will be discussing about the oil mist detector. So, what is this oil mist detector? It is a equipment which detects the or measures the quality of the oil mist found in the crankcase of an engine. It is for the safety of the engine because when the temperature in any part of the crankcase is very high then the oil mist will be formed at that point which will be sufficient enough to cause an explosion. So this method or this process to detect the oil mist is a precaution to avoid the crankcase explosion. So how does this oil mist detector or the OMD in short, how does this function? As shown here, the mist or the, the mist from various crankcase units are sampled and taken to one detector here which detects the value of or, or the amount of the oil mist, the quality of the oil mist and gives an alarm at a preset value. Individual mist sampling are carried out from different units with different pipes and they are taken all the way up to the detector. This is for from pipe number one, this is the pipe for the crankcase number one, this is for two, three, four, five and six. And here one rotary dial is there which indicates the unit which is being measured. Here one arrow is here. And this is so this units from 1 to 6 they are numbered and this dial goes on rotating as the samples are measured the dial shows the point for the crankcase number for which it is being measured at this point. It can be seen there are six points one, two, six and one more point is here that is for the every time the fresh air is taken and it is killed for just for calibration for the zero value or the minimum value and as the the theory behind the measurement is the light obscuration theory this is the path in which the mist is flowing and, and a light is given from 
from this side. And then receiver of the light is at this end. And as the density of the mist goes on increasing, lesser and lesser amount of light is received at this point. And the amount of the light depends on the density of the mist. So, higher the density, lesser is the amount of light received at this point. So, if lesser amount of light is received, then the higher indicators are shown on this indicator. In the indicator, the levels are shown from 1 to 10. If more and more light are absorbed by this mist, less of light is falling on the receiver. So, the less light falling will be shown on point number 10. And the as the amount of light goes on increasing, the level goes on decreasing. That means the least level is at which the least obscuration or the least amount of light is being stopped from reaching the receiver. This is the meaning of obscuration. So this is the way in which the oil mist detector works. This dial goes on rotating like this and if this point reaches here, that means the crankcase number 1 is being sampled. At this point number 2 reaches here, that means the crankcase number 2 oil mist is being sampled and it is being measured. When the individual crankcase mist is being measured, the values are shown here with the help of LEDs. If a mist is being, if one, if the mist is being measured for one crankcase, then the amounts of LED which is glowing, it is the amount of the mist, the density of the mist present there. And towards the top, there are some red values, red LEDs, that means the, it is towards the dangerous situation. That means the, some parts of the crankcase, that is, in some part of the crankcase of that unit, the hot spot is present for which the oil mist density is shown to be increased. So, accordingly, the engine has to be stopped and the fault repaired before the engine can be restarted. Some points to be noted is that the pipes which are taken all the way from the crankcase doors or the crankcase up to the oil mist detector, they should have be they should be in slanting positions. That means no oil should form should should be accumulated in these pipes. There should not be any chance of oil accumulation in these pipes. That is why the pipes are 
kept in the slanting position. Well, the oil mesh detector should be started well before the engine has to start because it will that time the oil mesh detector has sufficient time it should have sufficient time to start and compare with the fresh air for the zero ready so that much time is to be given and when the higher value is on the is reached this oil mesh detector it should give the alarm 